What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2. We are here with Clementine, and we are sneaking about on the roof here. We need to get two things, one of which is a radio for Luke, and we also need to get to the PDA system and broadcast something, anything. In the process of broadcasting whatever we're going to broadcast, it's going to attract the walkers here. And this gentleman up here was just talking about he can see so much. Just so much walkers out there just kicking up dust. They're not exactly in the parking lot, is what he was saying to the lady. But there's a shit ton of them, and they're concerned about being ready for this this time. Because it seems like this is not the first time walkers have possibly overran this place. Or came close to overrunning it. So we have things over here. And he's kind of just standing here. Maybe we should just uh, go this way? Because we got skylight. And then look at Skylight. I kind of... Greenhouse? You think you'll notice if we go over there? Look over Edge. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> re Is that where Reginald died? Come on, Reggie. Hey, Clementine here. She's just walking. Is Alvin okay in there? Hey, big guy, do you care that we are sneaking about? Exit, use exit door. Well, of course it's going to be locked. You should look down this way. You might see something interesting over here. Alright, well, the other way is probably the way to go. There you go, Clem. You're so small that no one can see you. What it is, you're invisible with that jacket on. We have another skylight over here. So Carver's just chilling in his office. I can't imagine he's just going to let us in there. Well, let's go in. Can we? Well, there's that lady. Tavia? Give me one of those. It's crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill... Go on. Nah, it's just... I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe... Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. Because Bill killed so him. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just... moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know it what is. you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around? I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway... I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Should we just wait until we need more space to make more space? I don't know, Hank. Bill's got a plan. Look, let's say we call it for now. We'll talk later. All right, talk to you later. Yep, later. Out. Out. Simmer down, Hank. Where you going, Tavia? Tavia? Should we have sent these people from the 400 Days DLC here? I think we should not. It was probably a bad decision. It's hard not to call them prisoners. Another effort? Hey, Clementine here. Thank you. 
You gonna take two? You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince! Whew. Well, we have the walkie now. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. What about the PDA system? We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Got him. You guys seem worried. Come on, Clem. Don't keep us waiting. Got him. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. It was nothing, thanks. I was pretty scared, thanks. It was nothing. Thanks. Yep. Jane will anyway, remember that. Get some rest. I thought about Duck today. About his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. He was a good boy. Remember the high five? He was sitting there giving Leah a high five. One long day, Ken says. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane, if you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. All right, look, if we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> no offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would- There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. You don't trust me to get a radio to someone? Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's going to be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. I heard you. I heard you, okay? Good. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. <laughs> Let's go. 
Way to go, Ken. You really sold that one. <laughs> hey, she's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. What are we doing? It's nothing that'll hurt her. Won't they need my help? Well, today I need it more. Come on. Should have gave it the mic. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? We need to change sides, Bonnie. You know you can talk to me, right? You do. I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. Bonnie. Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine! And all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. If you get caught and you mention my name, Carver will be the least of your troubles. Okay? Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> hey, buddy! You gonna sell us out? Please don't sell us out, Bonnie. Going on a limb by telling Bonnie that. I, I feel like we can trust her now. Hey, man. How you doing? You should get going. Bill don't like idle hands. Russell. Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Fluke? Close the door. Luke? It's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. I'm close the door. Exit? Luke! Where is he? Look at Superman here. Or Flash, is that the Flash? Oh! Luke! If you're hiding, come out! Luke, you here? You look at the comics? Are you behind this comic? Was he sleeping here? I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this! I was- you ain't supposed to be out here! You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up! Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! We got caught. Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? What's going on? I don't know, Clem. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start by telling me where the other one is. 
I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. <laughs> Fucker. No! Oh, God! Jesus Christ! Stop! Stop him! Somebody stop him! Troy, do Let something! Me stop! Clementine, help you me! You have to do this, Bill! Everyone come with me. Bonnie, you stick around. Make sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Yeah, okay. No supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Mother effer? Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. All right, Bonnie! Zing. Uh, ow. Dang it. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. Why isn't it great? Because most of us are beat to shit or pregnant. And besides that, it's risky as hell. It is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? Look, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. And it's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up. Okay, we should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. I'm just saying we gotta be sensible about this. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. And don't look good. Sorry, Ken. Is he okay? You better fix him. This Can I see is him? what I'm talking about. We're in no shape to go now. Can I see him? I don't think that's a good idea. His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. No! Oh. Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe... leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people, and now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? Nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. No, we're not leaving Kenny. No. It's not fair. 
We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because you won't have to. I'm all right, hon. We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> you are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? That okay. wasn't your fault, okay? So don't go blaming yourself. It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now? Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We can meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Don't look at me. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? I'm gonna need a boost. <laughs> Don't look at me! Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Repeat what she said. I got it. Tell me again. Down into the office. Outdoor speaker switch. Turn on PA. Up to the roof down into the stock room to meet you guys. That right? Perfect. Perfection. Be careful. Okay. Ken don't... Ken only has one Clem. eye now. Make sure you bring Alvin. Am I gonna pick his ass up? He didn't look like he was in any shape to walk. <laughs> We're just forgetting about Alvin. It's, I'm glad that she... Said, don't forget about Alvin, because I was just thinking, we need Alvin if he's still alive. Alvin! Hey, Alvy. Alvin? Are, are you okay? He's been sitting there in this chair for days, bloody. Is he even breathing? You know, Alvin, I don't really see anything. I could have swore it looked like he was breathing, but he could be in zombie form. Damn, Carver's got some booze. What does this say? World's best boss. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't fucking think so. Absolutely not, Carver. Carver beat the hell out of Kenny. That's... that's not good, friends. And Kenny only has one eye now, basically. Tough son of a bitch. Kenny... Kenny has that will to survive, and it just ain't gonna ever leave him. Let's press some buttons here. This looks like a good one, huh? Okay, now the mic. Let's broadcast something. What? What's wrong? See anything out there? No? No, 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 no! No, where are they? There you are. Look, it's the same tape as that was in, uh. Well, it's just a reused model. But it's the same tape in the first, uh. game. 
Come on, come on. Like the same numbers. Please work. Make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with Howe's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. Oh shit! What did they do to you? What's wrong? Are you okay? Alvin, what are you looking for, man? Alvin! Are... are you okay? Carver talks all that tough guy shit, then keeps the tiniest gun in the universe. <laughs> There's something funny about that. Project. We have the know-how. How? Can I have the gun? Can you stall them? We have to go, come on! Come on! We have to go! I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No! We're leaving. We're all leaving. I ain't fit to move, kid. I've... I've run out of road. Come on, Al. No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> Alvin! Come buy some charcoal. We well, got enough for all yous. This week only, Kennedy leaf blowers are twenty-two percent off. How's that for a deal? She was running sideways. Did you see her? <laughs> you want to disrespect me? Fine. You want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. Want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that baby before I let you leave again with my child. It's not yours. You don't fucking know that. And until we do, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Get back. Hey, you back, mother ever. Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Clem, where... Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? Alvin! Rebecca, I am... Oh God, I am so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God. How did we get here, you and me? This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Shoot him. We should tie him up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got any rope? <laughs> Kenny ain't gonna tie him up. Go on and wait outside. We have to go. Kenny, please. I only need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. We don't have time for this. I'm making time. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. You don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. Fucking big man. Huh? Let's go. Oh, come on, Clementine. 
Don't be like that. Don't run away. You know you want to see the show. Who do you think you're fooling, huh? I know you. I know who you are. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that I? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should have put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. Goodbye, Carver. He had his gun right there on his side. <laughs> That's not the Kenny I know in there. I wish... I thought... I could save him. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm alright. Come on. We got enough to worry about. Man, we're never gonna make it through this. You kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. Shit. I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here. You're gonna need something. Thanks. Get some blood and guts. You want some of me? You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, God. Be quick. We need to get covered before the rest of them get close. Oh, oh. fuck. This is not going to work. Come on, Sarah. Dive in. I'll go first. You're going to put that on yourself? We have to, Sarah. <laughs> Smear it. Oh. Smells delicious. Okay. Now you <laughs> turn around. Smells gross. Shit. Everybody shut the fuck up and get covered. It'll be okay, honey. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start. Hey, 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 hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you, you hear me? Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did, but now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here, together. Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we- ah! <laughs> You shot my dick up! Come on. <laughs> Don't make any noise, got it? They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. Get over here! <laughs> I need more ammo! Holy... Lee! Is that taken? Up here. Stay calm. Just like what Lee was doing. It'll be okay. Don't worry. Hey man. Watch Sarah. <sighs> Quiet, honey. Clementine, come help me. Calm her down. Please, just say something. You're her friend. Clementine. Oh. Dad! Oh. Oh, she hit us! 
Can't get G, babe. Sarah, get a hold of yourself. Sarah, did you? <gasps> Not today, mother effer. Oh. Chomping? <laughs> he is loving life. We even... We even have enough strength to chop our arm off? <laughs> Run! You better not end here. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> come on! Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Not now. Not now, darling. Luke. They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. Was that Jane? Jane seems pretty legit. She shot that guy's dick right off. It was like, you shot my dick off! Okay, let's talk, let's discuss. Poor Carlos died. You know, Carlos, he was, let's just call him, rough around the edges the whole time. I don't really truly know how I felt about Carlos up to this point. Like, he had good qualities, but he kind of just didn't show them all the time. He was very protective of his daughter, and I understand I would be protected too. But not crazy like that, in a way. And then, well, now he's gone, which is kind of rough if you think about, because now Rebecca doesn't really have a doctor that could possibly help her with childbirth. And that's going to put things a bit more rough than what they already are. Interesting. I like the end of that it was showing Clementine and the Jane person. We're going to probably see more about Jane now. This next coming episode, it seems. But I like how it was Clementine and Jane there, and she seemed like she was helping her, kind of teaching her the way. But, friends, should we have cut her arm off? If you want my honest opinion, the first thing that came to my mind, well, laughter, obviously, because that zombie was just having a four-course dinner, just completely loving life and chewing on that hand. But the first thing that came to mind, was Clementine even strong enough to chop her arm off right then and there? And then what would have happened if we would have chopped her arm off? It would have been exposed. She probably would have passed out and died anyway. So. I think not chopping that arm was probably the best choice. If we get out, we could possibly get somebody to take it off. Because look at it. Look at it Lee's way. Lee got bit, and he didn't take it off right away. He took it off eventually. And I believe Lee only died because of blood loss and stuff. I don't feel like he ended up dying because of the bite. Well, obviously... Maybe in time it might have got infected because it was pretty much open. But, I mean, they did cauterize it, right? I think they did. So, it's hard to say. I, I'm guessing Lee probably did die of just blood loss and then... I don't think it was the zombified curse that got him, you know? So she still has a chance. If we meet up with each other, everybody, and get out of this somehow, I feel like we could probably take it off 
it might be for the best. I think she was doomed if we would have tried to take her arm off. Clementine's not going to get that arm off with an axe. I mean, look what happened with Lee. They had to chop his arm off, cut it, saw it. Clementine is not taking one swing and taking that arm off. Maybe she honestly might. Who knows? Possibly. Anyways, help Sarah with her chores. You and 54.5% of players help Sarah. We did help Sarah. I like that we're trying to help Sarah. I don't under I don't really know what's gonna happen with Sarah now. She's gone. It looks like Sarah's gone. I mean, there was her glasses. So we're gonna have to find Sarah. And well. I think it's going to be really rough because she's going to be on her own and I don't know if she could take care of herself. But seriously, look at it from the outside looking in. All the choices we had done with Sarah so far have might maybe been molding her to help her for situations like this. Let's hope. Seriously. But she might be in shock because her father just died in front of her. Told Bonnie about Luke. You and 36.5% of players told Bonnie that Luke contacted you. Oh. Not many people trust Bonnie, huh? I feel like we can trust her for some reason. I know she kind of sold us out. As in the very beginning at the cabin. Or just tricked us, basically. I feel like we can trust Bonnie for some reason. You know what's so interesting about it all? So, the other people from 300 Days DLC, I'm guessing that place is probably overrun now. Going to get overrun or is overrun. So I wonder if they all get out. It seems like Bonnie is the only character so far that even matters from 300 Days DLC. The other ones played such a small part. They had a few words here and there. But ultimately, that was it. You know? And it makes me wonder if them people actively found each other. Like, did Wyatt find Eddie and stuff like that? And all the other ones? Did Russell find his family, possibly? Admit it to stealing the walkie-talkie. You and 66.7% of players try to hide the theft. I mean, I felt like that was a good idea. I found it. It was just laying here. It could have been one of your guards that just dropped it. I feel like that was a good idea. Watch Kenny kill Carver. You and 51.4% of players left with Sarita. I felt like it was a good decision to leave. To me, it felt like the time that Lee did not kill the St. John brothers. We chose to walk away from the other one, didn't kill him, and we chose to not stick the pitchfork in the one guy in the barn, and we kind of just walked away, and then I guess the herd just devoured them. The Big Bertha, whatever her name is, <laughs> Big Bertha, Larry's girlfriend, went out there and ate both her sons, probably. But that's kind of what I felt like that decision was, to walk away. Kenny definitely... In my mind, I'm like, well, is he dead? Do you think Kenny's going to kill him? Yes, Kenny destroyed him. Why, why would I even think that? I don't know. Kenny definitely absolutely obliterated that guy. But then again, I kind of wanted to see it. I can imagine it would have been a really gruesome scene. Kenny beating his head in. Yeah. Definitely. Chopped off Sarita's arm. You and 43.1% of players killed the zombie that bit Sarita. We didn't chop her arm off. Risk. Hmm. So more people did chop her arm off. So you possibly can chop her arm off then. Ultimately, she has a small arm. Definitely. But that was so quick to chop her arm off. I feel like we still have time. You know, this decision is kind of going to weigh on me now. Because maybe we should have chopped her arm off. But ultimately, I don't know. Personally, I feel like not chopping her arm off was the better idea of the situation. Seriously. If you think about it, though, just take it in for a second. Altogether, we were already in shit with the zombies. We were shooting. People were yelling. But if we would have chopped her arm off, she might even have screeched even louder than all the bullets that are flying and just brought more zombies upon us. And she would have got devoured, maybe. That's what I think. Or... None of that would have happened. She could have took it like a champ. And then, boom, now she survives. I didn't see her in the video. The next video. Obviously, they're not going to show it. I still feel like not chopping her arm off was the best way to go. Interesting. Very, very interesting stuff so far. Really looking forward to the next episode for sure. To see where things are going.
This season is... It's a really good season. Like, it's a lot of... I feel like it's more cutscene-y type this season. There's only one thing this season's missing. And it's obviously... And we discussed it already. We discussed the shortness of this season compared to the first season. The first season, each episode would take... And they were hour-long episodes. They would take around... Three. Three episodes would be one episode in the first season. This season is missing companion development, I feel. Character development. They always have such great songs. At the end of each season. No, but what I'm meaning is, in the first season, Lee was able to go around and pick the minds of the companions a bit. This season is really missing that for some reason. I don't know why they went away from that, but it was a great addition in the first game. Obviously, I feel like that, because I'm trying to put my finger on, like, why is this season so short compared to the first one? And it doesn't feel like short, but for some reason it feels it's taking me less time to do the episodes. And that's the reason. Because the, the character developments itself is not as extensive as the first game. Like I said, we were able to go around and talk to people, hey Ben, see ya! You know, stuff like that. We were able to just go around and just talk to the people and pick their minds. And that's kind of what they're missing here. But like I said, this season feels like it's very cutscene-y. Kind of more than the, uh, the first season. And of course, in the cutscenes itself, the whole move left, move right, duck. It's really interesting. I'm loving how they did that with Clementine. It makes you feel like you really are Clementine. Because, like, I've done said it many times that... I was so interested to how they're gonna utilize Clementine this. Obviously, she's not late, she's not a grown man, so she's not gonna be able to brute force these zombies. And... Well, I feel like the approach that they're doing with it is really enjoyable. And seeing Clementine come on top in, the, in these, uh, wild predicaments that she's in, really cool. But interesting, I'm happy Carver is gone. I don't think that, like I said, remember, he might be a good guy. Carver was not a good guy, he deserved to die. Fully. Maybe at one point in time, Let's take it in for a second. At one point in time, he probably was doing good stuff for this community. And honestly, friends, what he had, what he built, is better than people out there living in nothing. If he wasn't the leader that he was. If he would have kept going on maybe a little strict, but not a madman, this place would have been really good. It would have been a nice place to, to stay. Obviously, at some point, then walkers would have came. They were coming regardless. And this place, well, it might have withstand, maybe, possibly. But who's to say? I mean, it withstand the first time, but they said it was rough. This time it probably would have withstand for sure because we were here. I mean, if they just played it nice, but... Damn. Poor Alvin, too. Damn. Alvin was doomed regardless, huh? So Alvin probably could have died in... Like at the cabin, maybe. If we didn't help Alvin, remember? It said help Alvin. If we didn't help Alvin, he might have died. In... That episode. But ultimately, Alvin just... He was just a martyr. Basically. Even in this episode, he, he stayed beat the hell up in that chair. For however many days we were here. Probably not being fed. And he was basically just bleeding out. I mean, he went out like a boss, though. He sure did. It's really unfortunate. And Alvin thinks it's going to be a girl. So he thinks it's going to be another girl. Take care of my girls, he said. Oh, that's that's heartwarming. Poor Alv. Poor Alvy. Let's just hope everything uh, goes good next episode, friends. I'm looking forward to seeing some more of the character development. So far, Jane is really interesting. I'm really liking the approach of Jane. Like I said, she has a Molly feel to her, kinda. She kinda does, she really does. And then Rebecca, the whole thing with, it seems like maybe her water broke. That's gonna be interesting. Mike seems to be a quiet character, but I would like to see more about Mike. And then Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Any calling him Vanilla Ice, <laughs> Nick. And then of course, uh, Luke. Hopefully we find Sarah. And, well, keep pushing forward. And, uh, well, Bonnie, too. Bonnie's with us, too. That's going to be interesting. Bonnie, friends. Like I said, 400 days DLC people kind of got written off. Unless we find them. And they kind of turn and help us. 
And Bonnie seems to be the only one that they really utilized. Like I said, next episode, it looks like it's going to... It didn't fully look like shit was hitting the fan. I can imagine next episode, shit will hit the fan, but it's really going to, like, push itself to the very last episode, as in really set up the last episode. I can imagine that's how it's going to be. Anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care. <laughs>